on a cloudy day in Chicago, Illinois. We welcome you to Soldier Field for today's matchup between the 2-1 and one Oakland Raiders and the 0-3 oh Chicago Bears. Greg Gumbel along with Trent Green, Jamie Erdahl with us down on the sidelines. I want to remind you, this game coming your way in Spanish, we're available using the SAP button on your television. The Oakland Raiders have won the coin toss and they will defer, which means the Bears get their hands on the football first, and that means Jay Cutler back in action. And the Bears much need Jay Cutler's return because offensively a week ago, only seven first downs, 48 yards of net passing. Mark Mariani will not run it out of the end zone. From the 20, and Matt Forte starts it for a couple across the 20. To about the 23 yard line. Second and seven. Cutler from the shotgun pulls it down, starts to run, and got rid of it. And he hits his man across the 35, across the 40, and across the 45 is tight end Martellus Bennett. Clear the lane to make that throw. 24 yard pickup and a first down. And a Wildcat offense being shown here by the Chicago Bears. Matt Forte. Going to keep it and around the right side and across midfield and to the 45 of the Oakland Raiders where Charles Woodson makes the stop here out of Michigan. And we have an injury on the field, and that is the Bears center, Will Montgomery, number 64, the 10-year veteran from Virginia Tech. Second and two. Forte will get it. Band out of Florida State making that last stop. And Forte in the backfield with Cutler. And Cutler isn't moving at all when Cutler turned around. Play clock never started, so it'll be in 25 seconds. Cutler looking. It's all kinds of time. Still looking, going downfield, and he's got his man inside the 20, inside the 15, out of bounds at about the 10 is Marquise Wilson. At the 10-yard line. First and goal. This is Matt Forte, and Forte for about three to the seven. Offense has been lacking. They have no touchdowns over their last six quarters play. Couple. Still dancing and throws it away. No! Didn't throw it away. Off the fingertips of Josh Bellamy. Good pass to the far side. That is complete. And a Royal touchdown. They needed Cutler to get back and add a little uh, vertical threat in this, in this offensive attack. New cutter holding for Robbie Gold, and it was blocked at the line of scrimmage. Well, that's very smart of Robbie Gold to jump on that ball. As we understand now, the defense can pick that up and return it for two points. So good awareness by Robbie Gold to jump on it. Here once again is the touchdown to Royal, getting in the end zone for Cutler. With the new rules in play for the missed point afters, they begin to mount up here in 2015. Here's the block. Now you see Danico Autry, 96, on the left of your screen, but watch the trajectory of this ball. Look where the goalpost is and look where that ball is tipped. I think even if it's not blocked, it's going to be wide left, but it was smart on Gold's part to jump on that football. As we said before break, the Raiders could have returned that for two points. Gold's first kick, missed kick this year. This is short. He comes down and bounces out of bounds inside. 10-yard line, and the penalty flag flies. Kickoff out of bounds, kicking team. Ball we placed in the 30-yard line. French in 40-yard line, first down. Jeff. What's up? Derek Carr gives to Latavius Murray, and Murray not going far at all. First down, second and 10. Carr with time, down the middle. Off the hands of tight end Clive Walford. And his yards after catch is second in the NFL. Third and ten. Carr throwing this side. Came up short and it was a good thing because Tracy Porter was there waiting. That ball and ready for the undercut and Carr threw it short. Mark Mariani deep. 
for the kick. He's going to let go, and it bounces inside the 10, and they'll be down at about the five-yard line. And lead. And they'll start it with the give to Forte, and Forte across the 10, out to the 14, where Charles Woodson makes the stop. That you would want on this team to make a change. He is indeed. Thank you, Jamie, on second and two. Forte, first down, and then some, across the 20, to about the 23-yard line. That only trailing Walter Payton. Cutler, play fake. Running for his life, got rid of it. Proved incomplete. Khalil Mack putting the pressure on Cutler in the, in the backfield. <laughs> he can, he just shows he chose not to. Cutler had it knocked down. Number 99, Alden Smith. He needs the 34 yard line for a first down. Steps up. Under pressure, got it to Roy. Roy going across the field, looking for the first down and has it. 40 yard line and two out to the 45 and a first down for Chicago. Charles Woodson pushing him out. So Royal's coming from left to right, but I want you to understand the the, the structure of this defense. See, Royal's lined up in the slot. He does an out and then undercuts knee. He's the outlet basically, but. The structure of the Raiders' defense was a cover two, and, and to isolate Martellus Bennett on the top all by yourself and have a safety over the top, that just tells you the, some of the concern and some of the respect that the Raiders have defensively for Bennett, which allows those one-on-ones underneath. You know, the fortunes of the Bears have already changed from a week ago. This is Forte. And Forte wrapped up by Justin Tuck. The 11th year veteran out of Notre Dame. You know, every time we mention Charles Woodson, I think Jack Del Rio's reaction yesterday. Can you imagine having played as long as Woodson has played? He just started laughing. <laughs> like, hey, yeah. Especially defensive guys. That's a, that's a long time to play. Coming up and making a number of hits. Woodson in his 18th year. Buckner, quick pass, near side, this is Bennett, and that play isn't going to go anywhere, the ball is loose and covered by Carey Lee, the tight end. I think the ball comes out before he hits the ground. The only thing you could say is whether or not the officials whistled that forward progress had been stopped, but... Based on the fact where they're marking the ball, that's not the case. Holding offense, number 82. That penalty is declined. Third down. Pulls it down. Throwing it away on the far sideline. Throw it away. Here's the new Bears punter, Spencer Lanning. And T.J. Carey all the way back to his own 12-yard line. And he comes back across the 15, and that is where he will stop. Oh, and six-yard line. Latavius Murray. No game. Hit by linebacker Pernell McPhee. The Antrell roll. On second and ten. Give it to Murray again. And Murray this time finds room to run. And continues plowing out to about the 12-yard line. On first down, the Bears decided to commit a, a, a bunch of defenders down into that defensive box and not allow the run to happen. Second down, anticipating that they were going to throw the football, they dropped back into more of a cover two, cover eight shell where you're getting safeties deep, corners playing a relaxed coverage. The Raiders take advantage of that and push the pile right up the middle to make this third and manageable. Third and three. Oakland not yet able to generate much offense at all. This pass is complete to the near side of the field. Michael Crabtree. From their own 24, Carr. With time, throws. And that's incomplete. Intended for Cooper on second and ten. That pass is to Michael Rivera, the tight end. First time he's been targeted today, and Antrell Roll rides him out of bounds. This side of the field. Off the hands 
of the rookie Amari Cooper. Right. Pump from Marquette King. Mariani. From the 20. Penalty marker flies. He's going to try to turn the corner and he's not going to make it. Back to about the two yard line. 52 yard punt and a two yard return. And we'll check the flag. Seems anymore, Greg, on all special teams, whether you're talking kickoffs or punt, there's, there's going to be a flag. Just start the play with the flag in their hand. <laughs> Here in return, holding, return team. 10 yard penalty. Still first down, timeout. Serious. Let it hurt! Rogers with the handoff. And he's going nowhere. Hit hard right up the middle by Stacy McGee. We get our first NFL Today update of the day. Back to New York, James Brown, Bart Scott. Greg, identical Cincinnati drives for scores. That's right, JB. Seven plays, 80 yards, capped off by Giovanni Bernard. 13-yard run, Cincinnati up 14-3. Back to Greg Gumbel, Trent Green, and Jamie Erdahl. All right, guys, thank you. No gain on the play, as you see the Bengals. They look good about Cincinnati themselves, aren't they? staying hot, aren't they? Making that division, starting to run away with it. Almost got away from Cutler, and he throws, and he completes it. Close to the 20-yard line to his tight end, Martellus Bennett. Not the way you draw it up. <laughs> not, the, uh, not the smoothest of transitions. Cutler staying with it as you see this ball come in. They have to understand, different center, new center he hasn't worked with. Clawson moving over from guard to center, and Cutler sticking with it. A little scary when you're down there with your heels on your own end zone. It was interesting to see the snap after a snap like that and see as he comes out. 34. Perfect. That's complete. Across the 25 and out of bounds at the 26-yard line is Martellus Bennett. He went in the confines of the pocket. New set of downs. The give is to Rodgers and Rodgers. Straight ahead to about the 29-yard line. Khalil Mack making the stop. Especially facing a guy like that. And it four catches for 30 yards today. Cutler the throw again. Far side of the field. Tipped and it falls incomplete. Told, you know, Jay kind of throws with the lower trajectory of his elbow. So get, get your hands up and try and knock it down. Third and seven. And Cutler this time can't dance out of trouble. Justin Tuck. And this is Spencer Lanning again. They are letting the clock wind down and will let the first quarter expire. Bears have been able to move the football. Well, if you want to help your defense out, limit the other team to nine plays, nine offensive snaps for the Raiders in that first quarter. This is T.J. Carey. Carey running room on the right side. Out across the 45. On a short week is trying to get him as healthy as possible. Hard on their side, and this is Cooper. And Cooper across midfield to the Chicago 46. Brought down by Sam Acho. On second and five. Cooper on the other side. Inside the 45 to about the 43 where Shea McClellan makes the stop and Michael Crabtree is in agony on the far side of the field. Let's go to New... All right, guys, thank you. And Michael Crabtree in an awful lot of discomfort on the far side of the field after that last play. When we touched on how important he's been this season. See if we can see where he gets caught up. Having defenders fall into the back of your leg. Derek Carr throwing and complete. Number 86 is Lee Smith, the tight end. Carr, Murray. And Murray going nowhere. 0-3 type of football team. Even though that's what the record says, they expected a much bigger battle today. This is Murray straight ahead. Inside the 40. Third and eight. Carr, quick pass. Murray out of the backfield. Inside the 30 and out of bounds. Short of the 25-yard line. He spent his first four years in the NFL with the Oakland Raiders. Carr, with time. Going to go deep. Toward the end zone. Cooper. 
It is ruled incomplete. I don't think it looked like he, it looked like he had one, but not two. Let's see, he gets. This depends on if that, that trail leg was still on the ground right there when he caught it. So the right leg is still on the ground. You can see the toe on the ground here, and he has the ball in his hands. Let's see where the second one comes down. It looks like you can see some green under in front of his toes. It'll be interesting to see if they challenge this. They are throwing the flag. The yep. Raiders are challenging on the far side of the field. You want to take another look. Oakland is challenging the ruling on the field of an incomplete pass. So we get our first challenge of the day. Does Amari Cooper get the Raiders on the board or not? We'll find out when we come back. To look at, the second foot comes down. I stopped so we can hear a triplet. They're calling it a touchdown. It is a touchdown. Yep. Oakland is not charged to timeout. For us, and you can confirm it with those three shots. Actually, I confirmed it with Trent Green because he said it's going to be 11-10 to play in the first half. Janikowski. And this one looks returnable by Marion. Up the middle, across the 20, to about the 21, and the flag flies. Holding number 82 in the return team. Half the distance to go first down. For Tech. Forte for little or no gain. Danico Autry wrapping him up. Take a look at Jake Cutler and how he's been moving today. Sliding around the pocket. You can see with him keeping his eyes upfield, able to backpedal and make an accurate throw upfield. Step up in the pocket. Step up in the pocket. Slide and avoid. He looks very good considering how concerned they were coming into today's game. On second down, Cutler takes a good look. without one of the better receivers in the game and Alshon Jeffrey who is out today. Hand screen. Couple of the throw. Under pressure. Throws across the 20-yard line that is complete to Zach Miller as tight end. And we have a penalty marker down in the backfield. Holding offense. Hanson this is the hold. Still second down. Forte breaks it to the near side. Back inside and across the 15. Larry Asante, fourth year safety from Nebraska, making the tackle. He's going to Forte to get the first down, and he does and a lot more. Across the 25, out to the 27 for a first down for Chicago. Rookie defensive back Keenan Lambert has come on to replace Larry Asante. On first down, lost the football. Yeah. Looks like the Raiders have it. And they do. At the Chicago 25-yard line. Dan Williams covered the ball. And once again, you have to su suspect that new center in the lineup for the Bears. We'll see a close-up here of Cutler's hands. He never gets the ball. Almost looks like he closes his hands too early, so maybe a little delay in the in the snap with what he's normally used to with Will Montgomery. Obviously, Montgomery out of the first series of the game. Matt Slauson moving over from guard to center. Not on the same page there, unfortunately, for the Bears after putting something together. Over the middle, Murray out of the backfield. Pick up of about five to the 20 yard line. Carr. And the middle on the slant. Cooper. Cooper inside the five. It'll be first and goal. Field along with Carr on first and goal. And Carr will get it to him. To five. Goal line. Touchdown. Raiders. As soon as he sees the defenders drop on Smith into the end zone. He knows to go to a swing, and from there it's all about Hulu getting in the end zone. Janikowski's kick is good. Same page, even with the changes that have been made. You know, new coaching staff, new offense, new personnel. Uh, he's really taking hold of this team. Speaking of Tom. 
Cutler with time. Running out of time. Throws complete. This is Forte. Forte out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. Good job by... Hold that thought, Trent. This week on an all-new Late Show, it's Senator John McCain. And Tuesday, Stephen welcomes former President Bill Clinton. Don't miss it. Only CBS. You were saying... Cutler 8 out of 13 for 103 and a touchdown. This is Forte. And not much happening there. His dad gave him a lot of coaching points, and now, now he kind of figures he knows what he's doing. Cutler throwing far side. This is Eddie Royal. Eddie Royal. Maybe a yard or two and not much more. Well, just came off the field, shaking up. 37. Forte, running room. Midfield. Finally pushed out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. I like that, Greg. Just when we had talked about him catching the ball out of the backfield, they, they hit to him on a check down, and here's Forte coming out of the backfield. Cutler wants to look upfield. Gets to his check down very quickly. Once he see, once as a quarterback, as you see the defenders drop deep, and you have a back like Forte that you can get the ball in his hands quickly. Watch the vision there as he sets up Asante on that cut. 38-yard pickup. Fourth play of the day that the Bears have gained 20 or more yards on a play. This is Forte on the ground. Breaks it outside. Stiff arm. And a penalty marker is thrown. Personal foul, face mask, number 31, the defense. After this is full goal, automatic first down. Army Langford is in the Chicago backfield. Langford gets the handoff. And Langford still on his feet. Moves it to about the five. On second and goal, Cutler to throw. The end zone wide open. Touchdown, Martellus Bennett. Well, that's not the guy you leave open. Miscommunication between linebackers and outside. Bennett's going to be going on the corner route here. You see on the outside, David Amerson comes inside with the outside tight end, and nobody follows Bennett on the corner route. It was just a combination route, and you try and cause confusion, and clearly the Raiders were confused. Now, this is interesting. The Bears are going for one instead of two. It's a little early to chase the points, isn't it? It's a little early to chase. Spencer Lanning is the putter who is the holder here. Gets it down, and Robbie Gould gets the kick away, and it's good. Raiders have Marcel Reese to receive this one, and this one's short. And come down inside the 20 for Roy Hallou Jr. And Hilius Murray is back for the Raiders. Pop going to Murray on the near side, intercepted! Right off of his chest, picked off by Pernell McPhee! And Matt Forte in the backfield with cut. Forte. Second and seven, Cutler looking to the near side of the field, inside the ten, inside the five is Marquise Wilson. First and goal for the Bear. Forte, left side. Penalty marker flies as he's brought down at the four. Holding number 86, offense. Ten yard penalty, still first down. Zach Miller it is. See at the top of your screen there, Zach Miller. Or I'm sorry, Zach Miller's in the in the backfield. He comes out on this outside run and he, he tries to seal the edge on Alden Smith and see he reaches in with that left hand and, and pulls him back. In wrestling, isn't that a two-point takedown or something? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely bumps him back here. To the 13-yard line. First and goal. I'm not up on my wrestling points, so. <laughs> 
Cutler to the near side. This is Bennett. Bennett looking for a running room, runs out of it as he is out of bounds at about the seven. Curtis Lofton pushing him out there. Well, it's 6'6", 273. Bennett catches that ball in the flat. It, they were in a hurry to get over there, but they were in a hurry to push him out of bounds. I don't, I don't know how many people wanted to, to square up on him. That, uh, even though Lofton's coming in at 245 pounds, that's uh, giving up a little bit of weight and a little bit of head of steam. That's about 30, 30 <laughs> pounds shy of Martellus Bennett. Second and goal from the seven. Butler looking left. Goal line. Pass is complete. Just short of the end zone to Eddie Royal. Ball is going to be placed at about the one-yard line. D.J. Hayden covering on the play. Good zip. You can you wonder about the velocity because of the, the hamstring injury. That's a dangerous pass there. Gee, Eddie Royal reaching See, for the end zone. Can, he tries to reach for it. Doesn't quite get there. Great mark by the official right on top of it. And Oakland has called a timeout, stopping the clock with a minute 39. He attempts to stick the ball up. You see the official right here. He's right on top of it, and that ball is going to be just inside the goal line. Third and goal. Forte, the deep back. Forte, not going to get there. Just to remind people, they did have the block on the extra point earlier. And that kick is good. Minute 20 so because of uh, the Patriots. We know that the football is different in colder weather, so... And they will not run this one out of the end zone, so they'll begin at their own 20-yard line. Remind you once again, the guy standing by in New York, James Brown and his band of renown for all the latest NFL scores and highlights and a preview of Thursday Night Football on CBS and NFL Network coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. So the Pernell McPhee interception, 14-yard drive for the field goal. And the Bears with a 16-14 lead. Well, you have to understand the Raiders do still have the one timeout, so they can utilize the middle of the field here. There's plenty of time to keep attacking the middle of the field, try and find those creases, get up, spike the ball, and save that timeout for later on down. Carr. Trying to scramble out of trouble. He can't do it. Back inside the five-yard line, and Eddie Goldman. But knowing that you're down in your own end zone you don't want to take that risk and Latavius Murray with the handoff now Now with three timeouts the Bears are going to start using their timeouts and they will stop the clock here with 34 seconds to play What's up? Murray across the 10 to about the 13 and uh, the readers will stop or the Bears will stop the clock with the timeout and 29 seconds to play. Just a reminder, we play every game of the 2015 season on demand with NFL Game Pass. Go to NFL.com slash Game Pass to start your free trial. Here's Robbie Gould. Robbie Gould has a long of 51 this season. Robbie Gold is second in NFL history with 75% of field goals 50 or longer. He's made 18 of his 24 kicks 50 or longer. Get him in a position to give it a shot. See what Mark Marriott does with the turn. Line drive kick takes a bounce and Mariani will let it roll. And this will come to rest. Close to the 35-yard line. Quarterback can move on to, to this next snap. Cutler on a scramble and he goes down at the 31. Alden Smith brought him down. 
And the rest of the first half time will just click away. We come to the end of the first half. Seesaw back and forth. Little advantage to the Raiders, little advantage to the Bears, and it was 16-14. Off the field goal as we come to the end of the first half. 16-14, Chicago with the lead over the Oakland Raiders. Let's take a look at the, the Raiders get the football first here in the second half. Marcel Reese is deep. And another short pooch kick. About the 15 yard line. This is Roy Hallou Jr. Out to about the 25. Let's go down to James. Well, Greg, this might be a first. I asked John Fox about how he felt like Jay Cutler's first half went coming back from that hamstring injury. He called his quarterback a tough cookie. Felt was really happy about his performance so far defensively. He felt like the Bears were being a little too patient with these Oakland Raiders. And I just checked in with the Raiders. Michael Crabtree is back out there. He just walked off the field, so I will check in on that uh, ankle injury that he was nursing. All right, Jamie, thank you. Down! The Raiders! So Latavius Murray in the backfield. Latavius Murray gets the handoff to get things started here in the second half. And out to about the 29-yard line as we look at the first half numbers. Time of possession way off the charts in favor of the Bears. Well, and, that, and that's why they need to get more snaps. They need to keep the ball away from the Bears, but they also need to get the run game going. Latavius Murray only 22 yards rushing at halftime. He's an important piece for these Raiders here in the second half, and we have an injured player, injured bear down on the field. Right off the bat, Antrell Roll, the 11th year safety out of Miami, a former Arizona Cardinal, former New York Giant. See as he comes in on Latavius Murray, once again, another injury of a teammate or a player rolling into the back of the legs. That time, Roll Got rolled, up on. got rolled up on that right leg. Meanwhile, Crabtree back into the Oakland lineup, and he was rolled up on in the first half. Yeah. So it's a uh, number of injuries happen to players as uh, we, we see Roll is continuing to get help over on the sideline. Number 29, Harold Jones Corte. Has replaced Roll in the secondary for the Bears. Down! Second and seven. We're What's up? Car throws, Murray out of backfield, we lost the handle of that one. Car going down at the 20 yard line. Number 96, Jarvis Jenkins, the quarterback to go to. Once again, the Raiders going off the field quickly, three and out. Marquette kicking it to Mark Mariani. Mariani right up the middle of the field. And out to the 45, and we have a penalty marker on the far side. to get it right, but you just wanted to be in a little more timely manner. There's no foul on the play. Timeout. <laughs> Thanks for that explanation, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Forte. And Forte scrambling as the Bears covering. No, Raiders it goes go. over. The Raiders have the loose football. Wants a hit as Forte comes in here. Helmet on the football. And when all is said and done, it's the Raiders with the ball by the Bears today. Murray just inside the 40-yard line they fake it to Murray and Carr throwing and that's incomplete at the 35-yard line intended for Seth Roberts and Sherrick McManus was all over him these are the Bears first half possessions and you see a lot fewer snaps majority of those Four of the six possessions are, are three or less plays, so if you're going to get a touchdown, if you're going to get a touchdown on a three snap, you're fine with that, but otherwise you got to try and use up the clock a little bit better and 
You can see that drive start on the Chicago 25. That's what I was talking about after the turnover. So now here's a third and three for Derek Carr. Carr throwing out of the flat. We have a penalty marker thrown as Michael Rivera is hit almost immediately by Adrian Amos. Into the hands, hands to the face. 21 defense. Five yard penalty, automatic first down. You know, you wonder what's happening on a play like that because Derek Carr didn't even look to this side of the field. Well, what's it doesn't even he doesn't even get his hand near his face at the Chicago 35. Pull it over the middle. That's Crabtree. Crabtree inside the 20 to about the 17. 17 yard line. Back to the ground game with Murray. Murray, he's moving to run on the right side. Gets about five to the 11. That must be the matchup that they think gives them a better advantage. On second and four. Carr with time. End zone. Got his man. Touchdown, Seth Roberts. Looks like the second foot comes out of bounds. The throw by Carr over the top of McClellan. One, One foot is there. On the field is the receiver. Second foot was out of bounds. It is an incomplete pass. Third down. So now no touchdown. Third and four. Carr throwing. Incomplete at the five-yard line. Intended for Michael Rivera. He is foot inbound as Janikowski tries the 29-yarder. and Cutler will start from his own 20-yard line. It's, just, uh, it's great to see a player like Otto getting back. Whistle before the snap. False start, number 62, offense. Five-yard penalty, still first down. That's right guard Vladimir Dukas. So Cutler will give it to Forte, and Forte will go a couple straight up the middle. Forte. Second and 13. And he's wrapped up, and yet with the courtesy on the horizon, Matt Forte. Third and 13. Butler, quick pass outside, complete. This is Martellus Bennett, and Bennett rolls across the 30 for a first down. And a touchdown. And to this side, and Eddie Royal couldn't hold on. It'll be second and 10. So it is surprising. On second down, Cutler throwing sideline and overthrew Royal. With time, over the middle, and there's Bennett. Bennett for the first down. On first down. High snap, Cutler handles it, throws to the other side, and that's incomplete. You may have a second thought about taking off and running down the field. On second now, Logan throws his intended receiver, Bellamy. And this sideline pass is incomplete, intended for number 81, Cameron Meredith. Turn this part for the Raiders. We'll get a chance to bring this one back for about the 17. Stagger step and out to about the 25 yard line. 7.50. He knows the Chicago trivia. <laughs> on second and one, this is Murray. And Murray with the first down across the 35 to the 36 yard line. And this is, by the way, a happening town now with what's happening with the Chicago Cubs. About to have a one game playoff. And the Chicago Blackhawks, the defending Stanley Cup champions, about to open their season on Wednesday here in Chicago. Well, and the Bears are always exciting, so it's, uh, yes, it's a, it's a very sports-driven town, and especially this time of year, you're, you're right, the Cubs uh, getting back into the playoffs. Here's Murray. For not much. It's a standpoint, but it has been a, kind of a broken game from a rhythm standpoint for both teams. We have had three lead changes today, and that's Murray being corralled by Purnell McPhee. 
third and seven. Carr flipping to Halu out of the backfield, and he gets the first down across the 45 to about the 48-yard line. Hey, what's up? Oakland with the ball in a one-point lead, and this is Latavius Murray. Get to the outside to pick up the third down. Look at offensive coordinator Bill Musgrave. This is second and seven. And they'll pound it on the ground again. And this time Murray goes nowhere. Wrapped up by several of the Bears. Down here at the bottom of the screen. And a look this way. And throws. And that's off the mark. Crabtree, the intended receiver. So Marquette King will kick it away to Mark Mariani. Barely got it away. Fair catch called for and made at the 10-yard line as Mariani goes out of bounds. Three. For the 10. Hit as he reached the line of scrimmage by Justin Ellis. Getting hurt on that first series. On second and nine. Cut and throw, sideline. That's complete to Forte out of the backfield. And Forte with a first down. Of total and, offense. And that's with 21 touches. This is Forte again. Out to the number, out to the 24 and five. And they'll keep it on the ground with Forte, who moves out to about the 27-yard line. Cutler with time, throwing, and we get a penalty marker thrown after the play. Yeah, they're going to get Nico Thorpe there. The ball was one of those back shoulder type of throws that Cutler was trying to make, and. Thorpe. Mar Marquise Wilson, the intended receiver. Yeah, and, and Thorpe just grabbed Wilson's As shoulder. Defense, number 31. All replacing the spot of the foul. Get away with that. Butler throwing in a hurry on the far side, and that's Bennett. And Bennett inside the Oakland 45. They've been, they've, they've been doing this all game, yeah. using up the play clock, and Cutler couldn't draw them off. 17-16 Raiders back after this message and a word from your local station. From the city of Chicago, our producer Bob Monsbach, our director Suzanne Smith, Greg Gumble, Frank Green, Jamie Erdahl, and the rest of our CBS Sports crew. We start the fourth quarter. The Bears with a huge advantage in total yards. Oakland with a one-point lead on the scoreboard. Second and four. And Cutler sidearms that one and hits Marquise Wilson. And Wilson fights his way close to the 30-yard line. And we have another Raider in pain on the ground. That's middle linebacker Curtis Lofton. We got a couple of them down. We'll take a timeout. Fourteen forty-nine to play in Sweet Home, Chicago. That's Danico Autry being taken to the locker room. What happened on that last play? A couple of Raiders collided in pursuit of Marquise Wilson on first down. Running the thirty-two, Cutler. And that is to Eddie Royal. And we get a late flag thrown. You saw Danico Autry yeah. and, and Lofton, Curtis Lofton running into each other. That's what caused the injury. This flag came after the play. I wonder if it was a little trash talking. After the play is over, delay of game, offense, number 19, spiking the ball. Uh, the five-yard penalty, it's second down. Hey, so. Here's a pass to the near side of the field, and there's Mr. Bennett again. Boy, has he done some damage for the Bears today. Run out of bounds by Malcolm Smith. We are told that Eddie 
Royal may have gotten that penalty for rolling the ball in the direction of the official. But that's not a delay of game. That would be unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah. That would Two yard line for a first down. Give it to Forte. Forte can't shake the tackler in the backfield. Terrific play by Alden Smith. If this misses, it's a pretty good field position for the Raiders. Kick on its way. And is good. Is looking for their first win of the season. Marcel Reese will not run this one out of the end zone. So Derek Carr and the offense out to the 20 yard line tonight on 60 minutes. They look like they're from the future, but they're riding on our roads right now. Driverless cars on 60 minutes tonight. Only CBS. Well, the Bears, it looked unusual to have them see them kick off. You know, all their, their, think about their kickoffs so far today. have all been the poots kicks this short. You know, they've given up a 108-yarder. They've given up a 105-yarder. Hadn't done a very good job on kickoff coverage, but that time there, Robbie Gold puts it to the back of the end zone. The Raiders don't have a choice but to go. They're starting with Latavius Murray, and Murray buried at about the 22-yard line. to come back and get in this lead. Car. Disconnect with Amari Cooper. Third and eight. Deep drop for Carr with time. Out of the backfield is Marcel Reese and Reese across the 30 and out of bounds for a first down. Reese remains in the game. Reese gets the handoff. No, excuse me, Jamie's on the wallet. We talked about the two young weapons that, uh, that Carr has to, to utilize. Carr throwing, coming across the field, complete to Crabtree at about the 45-yard line, and that'll be enough for another Oakland first down. They have now moved to their own 45. Carr, quick pass, Reese, Reese. For about five, maybe six. Taking those shots. Pitch for Murray, he dropped it! And the Bears have the football. That's in the interception. This time just a sweep. Hits him right in the hands. Perfect pitch, perfect toss. Doesn't have to reach back for it. You just see he takes his eyes off the football and looks up to where the defense is and where he's going to have to make his cut by taking the eyes off the football. It allows it to sit there and... Forte to the 40. Cut with the throw on second and eight. Under pressure. Going to go deep down the middle of the field. Almost picked off by number 29, David Amerson. Cut yeah. on the move. Throws over the middle. Eddie Royal has got it. Does he have enough for the first down? Right at the first down marker. You measured up that sandwich pretty good at <laughs> halftime. <laughs> there it is for the Bears. You hear the reaction of the crowd. Watch how he's able to avoid that initial rush. And completing the pass that they all say the quarterback shouldn't throw, throwing across your body. <laughs> going right to left, <laughs> throwing across your body and... He got it. He has the arm strength to do it. It's just uh, it's a risky throw. Cutler's comeback day, 22 of 33 for 231 and two touchdowns. And no interceptions. And first down, and it's a Forte again. And the Raiders pretty much waiting for number 22. Dan Williams, along with Alden Smith, making the stops. Well, this has been the game plan for the Bears the entire day. Just use up the clock. They, they, they've been using up this 40-second clock, the play clock. 
most of the day. They're just taking tempo and, and keep that clock winding. And that's why it's uh, it's been well, it's been lopsided from a yardage standpoint as the Bears are sitting at about 150 more yards than what the Raiders have. But time of possession is is nearly 10 minutes more for the Bears. Watch Bennett over here. Bennett's right here in this in this bunch formation. See if they don't get him the ball quickly and let him. They've been doing that a few times with him. Whoa! Look the other way and complete it to Marquise Wilson. Good hands by Wilson. Well, they had the Raiders thinking the same thing because they had several defenders over on that side of the field thinking they're going to make that quick throw once again to to Bennett and, and having the one-on-one -on, -one on the outside against Thorpe and there's that arm strength once again by Jay Cutler zipping it to the boundary. Third and one. And we go under seven minutes to play here in the fourth. Cutler going to throw it over the middle, intercepted, picked off by Charles Woodson. His second of the season, number 62 of his great career. And we have a penalty marker down. They got a flag. After the interception and during the return, unsportsmanlike conduct. Oakland, the return team, the official ran into the players and coaches in the bench area. That half the distance of the penalty will be assessed for the dead ball spot. First down, Oakland. Derek Carr pulls it down, takes another look, under pressure. And on the sideline, is that complete? Incomplete. Intended for Amari Cooper. It's the ball float, which gives Woodson the interception. On second and ten, Carr with the throw across the 30-yard line to Crabtree. Waiting. What's up? Carr throwing it, and that's another one to Crabtree. Crabtree across the 45 and about the 47-yard line, and another first down. Waiting. Had the tight end wide open, and Cutler just didn't get enough on it as Woodson undercut it. This is Halu, and Halu to about the 41. And, you know, the play was there to be made, and now the Raiders are getting themselves in a position where Janikowski is not far from trying to field goal. Carr throwing incomplete. Secondary playing as many years, 18 years now, on the defensive side of the ball. Second and 10. Carr throwing. That's complete. And that's Michael Rivera, the tight end. Blue. In the backfield. They're going to give it to him. To about the 30. Hulu in the backfield, Hulu with the handoff. Looks like he'll get about four to the 26. And we come up on three and a half to play. That time the Raiders had three tight ends in the game. Only one receiver, that's Amari Cooper. The Bears stacked everybody to the inside. They had nine guys near the line of scrimmage at a safety in the middle and then one-on-one -on -one Porter on the outside with Amari Cooper. Looks like they had the same personnel group. Be interesting if they don't take a shot here with Cooper one-on-one -on -one against Tracy Porter. This is now a 65-yard drive by the Raiders. Peru. Inside the 25 to about the 22 or the 23 yard line. We have a timeout on the field. 2.50 to play. Two point Chicago lead. He'll get it. Can't get away. In fact, he lost a yard. Cornell McPhee. And here comes Sebastian Janikowski. Well, McPhee has having another big day for the Bears last week, coming up with the two sacks against Seattle. This time, cutting through that inside gap, able to get in the backfield and get Halu actually tackled for loss, pushing Janikowski back even further. 41-yard field goal attempt for the veteran. He was good from 29 earlier. This for the lead. 
on its way. And good. Towards the uprights. Sebastian Janikowski. As reliable as they come. Oakland with a one-point lead. Where's going to come out and have a, have a couple timeouts in his pocket to use. Line drive kick. And Mariani will not return it. So we will start at the 20-yard line. Let's go down to Jamie. Well, Greg, the wind has indeed picked up down on the field as the game has gone on. I would say primarily it has been working for the Bears, but on this drive, of course, now the wind has shifted and it is working left, right to left on your screen, which is against the grain for the Bears. All right, Jamie, thank you. You pointed out earlier the length of the kick that Robbie Gold made and he had plenty to spare. He did. That was a 54-yarder that he made with, with plenty of distance, so... Really, the target should almost be to get to the far 40 if, if indeed you're going to go for a field goal. But you do have a new holder, new punter in, in Spencer Lanning, and so there, you know, there's always possibilities that go on when dealing with that process. Forte shakes the tackle, dodges another, and out across the 25. Two-minute warning, two to play here in Rig color what coverage they're going to be in when you move the forte from outside the end. Butler got hit from behind as he pulled up at the 25 by Khalil Mack. And two timeouts that Chicago had. Butler throwing and under throw is intended for number 11 Josh Bellamy. Play that Cutler was sacked. He was looking for Forte out of the backfield and didn't have it. Throwing far side of the field, it is caught by Bennett. The tough catch. Now on first down, Cutler throwing that way again and off the hands of Marquise Wilson. Placing Alshon Jeffrey, who is missing this game. In fact, he's missed the last two weeks with a hamstring. That's Forte. And Forte out of bounds at the 40. This outside shell to keep him from outside. Third and four. Cutler pulls it down, throws again, and it's complete to the 45-yard line. That one held on to by Wilson for the first down. There's, there's big lanes in the middle of the field. On first down. Cutler with time. Going to go deep. Incomplete. Comes on the outside, so Cutler recognizing that and taking the shot. Woods in the deep man in the secondary now. Cutler stepping up, throwing over the middle. Diving catch made inside the 45 by Eddie Royal. Swim 43. Cutler throwing this way, looping for the ball, and a, they say the catch was made by Wilson. Off his chest. What a grab. Second and one. Forte. For a first down. Bears looking to snap an eight-game losing streak, which dates back to last year. The squib kick. Picked up by Halou. Halou on the move. Up the sideline. Throws it back. The ball is loose. Penalty markers fly. Another penalty marker flies. And the lateral game continues. That one thrown back at about the 40, 45. The Raiders are losing yardage on this. Finally covered by the Bears, Sam Acho. Jack Del Rio probably saying, oh, we didn't practice that one that way. Kind of a fitting way for this game to end, though, Greg. Really a forward pass. Two good friends by the receiving team in midfield. I clearly have to climb at the end of the game. There was an illegal forward pass in that mess. And the penalty is declined. And the Bears grabbed their first win of this season.